What is up guys? Welcome back to another Crypto Camel video. Hope you guys are doing great. Today we're going to be looking at Hoge Finance. They are going to be doing a level two audit uh, that will be done by April 24th, I believe. Now, take that with a grain of salt, everything I'm going to say in this video, because it's all allegedly, it's all rumored. But like uh, the info that I'm getting uh, is from a great resource. And this is coming from the Telegram group. So the uh, Telegram, I'll put it in the video description. It's a great place to have any of your questions answered. You can talk to the uh, guys involved in the Hoj uh, official team and also, you know, community, any questions, throwback, any stuff, dialogue, you know, getting people's opinions. It's a big focus on community. So I would recommend joining the Telegram group. Uh, I am active in there also. Now, of course, uh, before we jump into the meat of the matter, price is pretty low. We've hit like really like bottom ends, right? It's pretty hard to stomach that. But keep in mind, that you want to reevaluate your portfolio every now and then, like I'd say quarterly or every bit so that you don't stress too much, you know, go for a walk, don't stare too much at the numbers at your wallet. It's only a loss if you realize that just don't sell it, you're gonna have to be strong in this. And uh, we are burning more of the supply, there will be improvements. And I'm going to go into those improvements uh, right now. So Hoj Finance, they are talking about um, working on copyrights, trademarks, uh, new partnerships, sponsorships, but they will be coming to new exchanges. Now, uh, it's going to be like a top 20, top 30 exchange. So who knows what it's going to be, but that's going to be great for uh, exposure. That's going to be great for more people entering, especially with the painful gas fees. I know the gas fees are really tough to stomach in this, uh, you know, it sucks, right, with Ethereum. But we're going to see improvements with Ethereum. We're going to see improvements with uh Hoj with their level two audit. So a full blockchain audit is coming in. They did make mentions of like Skynet security, preventing any back doors, uh, looking for ways to improve gas fees, uh, and also looking at any code issues, room for improvements, optimizations, because they're looking to accommodate, you know, in, in the near future, you know, jumping to a few hundred thousand holders from like the 36,000 holders. And this level two audit is to be done allegedly like by April 24th. So this is going to be great. Uh, that level two audit is coming in. We have the funds raised for the new exchange. If you just saw here, 75,302 supply was just burned just like that. So when you guys hodl, hoj, you know, there is that incentive. You will be getting it back. Don't get too discouraged from the uh, price point relative to USD or CAD or whatever your currency you've set it in. Keep in mind that you want to be hodling this for a long time. And um, when we see the new exchanges listed, it's going to help a lot too in terms of uh, adding to our volume. So guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, just something quick to discuss what was going on and what was being discussed in the Telegram group because that is gonna be exciting uh, in terms of how it's gonna impact the community. And hopefully we see more improvements, not only with uh, the, like this audit and Hoj, but also on Ethereum, like on the back end of Ethereum, uh, Uniswap V3, that's gonna be rolling out. They've announced it, but it looks like it's being rolled out in May. So I'll be discussing more on that. Uh, in the meantime, if you guys are buying it on Uniswap, make sure you do your due diligence to try and minimize the gas fee because these add up very easily. Uh, otherwise, I recommend just jumping on Whitebit, some of the other exchanges, if uh, if possible, snag it there. It's probably going to be easier to just buy some USD, USDT cheap, throw it over to Whitebit or something and snag it there. If you do need to withdraw it so you can get that 1%, uh, some of those exchanges have actually started supporting it, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think BKX is actually supporting now that uh, redistribution from the burn, but some of them may not. You're going to have to check uh, individually. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care.